today we're going to be learning how to play Cups. Cups is from the Faber Studio Collection Level 2A book. And it looks like this. Before we begin, we're going to look at some very basic things of the overview for Cups. First of all, can you find the time signature and point to it? This is the time signature right here. It is in 4-4 four, four time. The 4 on the top tells us that there are 4 beats in every measure, and the 4 on the bottom tells us that a quarter note gets 1 beat. Next, take a look right here and notice that there are no sharps and flats. The key for this piece is C, so it is based on all white keys. However, if you take a look further in the music, you will see that we do have some accidentals that are written in in a few places. And finally, can you touch the tempo marking on your music? The tempo marking is right here. It says that we play this moderately. So it does not give us an exact metronome speed, but if you're a fan of this song, which is from the movie Pitch Perfect, um, you are familiar with about the speed that this goes. So today we're going to take a look at how to do this very first line of cups. Now, you'll notice that this first line is all X's. There are no notes here. We have X's on the spot where the right hand often plays E, and we have X's on the spot where the left hand usually plays A, but we're not actually going to be playing any notes here. This section is just for us to drum on our fall board. Now, the fall board is the piece of wood that is just in front of the keys on your piano. So it's this wood right here. Today, for the purpose of this video, so you can see it really well, I'm going to drum on the top of my lid um, for my piano that closes over the keys, but you can also knock on your fall board or you can tap on your fall board, whichever you prefer to do. Let's take a look at the rhythm. T, 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 ta, T, ta, T, ta, ta. Say it with me. One, two, ready, go. T T T T T T ta T ta T ta ta. Repeat it. Ready, go. T T T T T T ta T ta T ta ta. Now, why are some of these X's written on the place where we play E on the treble clef, and some of them written on the place where we play A on the bass clef? Well, that's because if they're written up here, they're for the right hand, and if they're written down here, they're for the left hand. So you'll notice that there are three places where our left hand plays and everything else is the right hand. The next thing we're going to do is get used to the right hand, left hand balance. So it goes right, right, left, left, right, left, right, 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 right. Do it with me. We're going to repeat it also. One, two, ready, go. Right, right, left, left, right, left, right, 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 right. Repeat. Right, right, left, left, right, left, right, 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 right. And that's the first line of cups.